camped out in this public area next to a school or something that's being built. Next to a big house. Just out of sight. Pretty nice. Their dog started barking last night. So I had to just roll over the grass with the bike, switch off the engine, and just get as far as I could. This is basically a neighborhood. Just another day. Go to the post office, go to the motor place, gotta email someone, and gotta text someone. Here we go. Chicago. Frozen wet grass. Very nice neighborhood. Very old school classical style this town. I suppose colonial country style that I can feel English. Interesting little town, uh, city here. Great library. Time for some breakfast. We got here today. Awesome. New Zealand breakfast of champions. So we're still in Invercargill, and uh, I'm in front of E. Hayes and Sons. Interesting little shop they have here. It says everything. Which I'm a bit confused, but apparently here they have the fastest Indian, Bert Monroe's motorbike. You know, Anthony Hopkins uh, is a New Zealander and he, and he used to race uh, motorcycles in America on a salt lake. So Bert Monroe is this legendary Kiwi played by Anthony Hopkins in the movie, The Fastest Indian. Apparently that motorcycle is here somewhere. Good day. Good day. How are you? I'm a bit confused at the setup here. I was expecting like a full-on motorcycle place. So what's uh, so what's so what's <laughs> going related. so what's going on here? So it's a hardware store at the same time. Yep, uh, hardware's over there, and this is the automotive room. This is the the like the museum section. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, and, and then it also goes out around the corner where the actual fastest Indian bike the motorcycle is. Yeah. yeah, who manages the place? Uh, um. Is that like family still? Or yeah, uh, family still, yeah. Uh, Neville Hayes is still runs it and he still comes around here every so often. Yeah? Right? Yep. And his son, John Hayes, is, works here too. Yeah? Yeah. Right, man. I'll uh, have a look around. Cool beans. Cheers. See ya. Trans Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn right. Well, yeah, 90 or a... 91. 91. So what do you got, a 600 or like later 650, 700 one? No, no, 89. Oh, really? Yeah. That's uh, that's uh, Genesis. So you still got the, the drum bread? Uh, drum... No, actually, it's... Uh, I spent last winter... When I got it, I modified it, and then uh, last winter, I have to find pictures here for me. I would love it if you'd made like an adventure version uh, of it, because that's what I'm thinking if, if I get it, get, get it all together. Oh, you son of a bitch. Uh -huh. You son of a bitch. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh man. That was the second time I did a upside down forks on it. Yeah. Uh, the first time I just used regular forks off of a 
Did XR you? 650L. That's the thing. That's like I, I, I've, I've run skim through these uh, mega threads uh, where if, they do the modification. If you can make it an XR 650L front end, that's it. The whole thing will bolt straight on. Dude, did you have the original swing arm? Did you go for the? I got the, an Africa like twin, twin swing arm. That's I got it. That from Austria. <laughs> this guy here. What's your name, by the way? Nick. Nick. Uh, I'm Pedro, mate. Pedro. Uh, let, let me get your picture one more time yeah. because. What Nick has here, like I had this for the last year, year and a half, this this, this idea in my head of, because yeah, yeah. we've been around and it shows, but if I ever would meet the right people and you know, like to set something up, yep. I would like to do this massive modification. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got exactly so the bike that I would want to make and that's this bike. It's basically making an adventure bike. Look at that. Oh man. That is, that is really ball hurting sick. <laughs> man, but it's like well, everything you just mentioned up until the spacers, it's yeah. like all the stuff I read through, man. Yeah, there's a lot of bits people miss out there. Yeah. Like there's some real aggravation in some of it. If you want to go to the extent that I did. Now, as I say, if you go the simple route, which is the the XR 650 front end. I know, Nick, Nick, no, listen, mate. <laughs> I wanted it to look exactly like yours, except maybe the color. Same ride height and everything. Yeah. But it's just a less expensive way to go. Yeah, where, 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 where is your bike? You got it in the where, states. In the states. Yeah. So, are you from here, or are you? I from... was born and raised in New Zealand, and yeah. I've been living in the states for the last 20 years. Whereabouts? Uh, Maryland. Bainfield Road is now a house on the spot. That goes to me. You want to get in? I don't take a picture of you. Oh, you can get in there. Yeah. That's just a movie record right now. That's all right. Just getting in there. Yes, I'm here to race. Am <laughs> I doing this right? Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, can you imagine? That's dedication. Or he was a smaller man. <laughs> I think it's dedication. <laughs> Jeez. That's awesome. Ah. Oh, the hipsters in Bondi would die for this one. It's a jab. thing to do. Yeah. I got away, I've owned over 60 bikes and my last big adventure bikes were the BMWs. And I got sick of every time it was due for a service and the light came on, having to take it to the dealership and paying them to get the light to go out. Really? Uh, I had a Ducati Hypermotard. Fourteen hundred dollars for a service and they wouldn't even if you did it yourself they would not turn the light out unless they did the service. For 1400 bucks, I refused. I hate that. I hate that. That's like what Apple does with yeah. uh, laptop with iPhones and like forcing you. Yeah, no, that and pisses I, me off. I decided that's it. I'm going back old school. Give me carburetors and something I can do every last little bit myself. So yeah, yeah, probably getting a toes polished. This machine here is your original fastest Indian. Nick, that's uh, awesome to meet you, man. Yeah, likewise, make, likewise. Make sure to uh, drop me a message on a Facebook, man. Yep. So I would love to see some pictures of that. Yeah, absolutely. And um, we'll keep in touch in the long run because yeah. I have some ideas and... Um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Yeah. I mean, catch up with Eric and get my email address and yep. whatever you want. And, yeah. uh, this guy here, <laughs> it's the most awesome trans help ever. <laughs> I'm going to, I mean, now I'm going to try and forget it for half a year. I don't want to think about it anymore. I'll send you a picture. Of <laughs> All right, mate, take it easy. You too. Be safe out there. Always. Really cool bikes here in this shop. Happy I came here, otherwise I might have overlooked it. Who would have thought that all these motorcycles would be here? Someone had told me, but I thought it would be more of a museum setup.
Yeah, that's over there. <laughs> so he handed it all over to your dad or to... Yeah, well, he started with the bonobites box and I've just kept adding to them. Yeah. I've just bought another car over in the States of Dodge Viper, which is an 8 litre V10. I've got 10 cars. We just changed them around. That yellow one's not mine. Yeah. That was pretty damn cool, checking out all the bikes and checking out the Burt Monroe bike. Glad I came here, like I said. <laughs> also, still haunts me in the head. Uh, the motorcycle Nick showed me, so I'm glad I met him. And uh, it just keeps going through my head. Sorry, Alp. Alp's a bit jealous, the way I reacted. That's how I want to make you, Alp. Yeah. It's actually, I actually just screen, use the camera function to screenshot part of a clip. It's the first time I ever needed that, just so I have a shot of, uh, of that bike, which is a shot of a phone. Man, that's a great motorcycle. Just uh, finished uh, exporting the latest episode, going over to Haas Pass. Gonna go past New World, get some food, and then meet up with Jorge, Jorge again whom I talked to uh, earlier today in front of the hardware, Hayes Hardware Store and uh, stay at his place and uh, gonna talk some, uh, some riding. I think I found uh, Frank's rum hand. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> Jorge texted me his address. Turns out he lives 80 k's out of town. <laughs> oh well, let's go pay him a visit. It's uh, back west where I came from. It's uh, nicely on the coast, so it's probably a really uh, nice spot. I say that, but uh, my front light, uh, my headlight is busted. So I need to put in a new one. Such great timing. Uh, it's been a while. Should be able to reach in there without having to dismantle part of the front console because that's the last thing I want to do since this new setup has a lot of bolts. Here's the thing. Light is perfectly fine and I thought it was pretty fishy that the high beam also wasn't working. Both weren't working but hey there's always a first. Turns out blown fuse. Turn up the lights. Back in the game. Super easy. That's a great thing with bikes, you know, just keep at it, keep doing things, fixing things, fixing things yourself, and they just come super easy at some point. Not everything, but a lot of things do. Sweet. Let's get on the road. Wind. There's the ocean. Uh, I haven't been a while since I had to put in an effort to keep a bike on the road with wind. Good timing! Yeah! So you enjoy the ride with the wind? The last 10 k's, it's been a long time since I've ridden with so much wind. I had to keep it on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like three or four spots, really hard wind. I went, there's this dip. Yeah. And you see the bushes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I got in there, it was really... Growing, yeah. I already started leaning in. Yeah, yeah awesome. Yeah. 
When I put in your address, like, oh shit, that's 80, 90 kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. All good here? Yeah. Bought it with 45,000. 45,000? Yeah, I put 75,000 on this trip. Yep, you okay. start the motor now. Okay, so I never done that since. Yeah. Cool. Start the engine. Just be prepared if the sun will come out. What do I do? Just just turn off the Turn engine. it off. Yeah. Okay, because it's very hot. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, put your hand there. Yeah, yeah turn, turn on. Yeah. Yeah, put your hand there. Yeah. See the ear? Yeah. You know? yeah. Oh, yeah. That is not good. Yes, yeah, so that means the, the rings in the piston, they yeah. are not feeling well. So all the compression between the piston and the heel is blowing down. Yeah? Yeah. On a scale of 10, how bad is that? Um, can be 7. Yeah? yeah? As in kill your engine? Yeah, can kill your engine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Can kill your engine. It can lose power. Yeah. And the oil can come into the rings between the piston. Got a piston inside. <laughs>